lack of information has been outrageous, scandalous, that uh, folks who have been working here, in some cases for decades, were not given any information that the, about the closure or any information about what, the, what lie in the future. Tonight, we're learning why nearly 400 people were let go from Bayou Steel in St. John Parish without any warning. It was a crushing amount of debt that Bayou Steel says forced it to close. But tonight, there are questions about how the company handled the layoffs, which happened with zero notice. And we're also hearing from local leaders. Danny Monteverdi joins us live from the St. John Government Building now. Danny. Well, the big thing for government leaders here in St. John tonight are getting those nearly 400 workers back to work, and they say they are equally frustrated that this all happened without any warning. It hasn't sunk in yet. It was the fact that Joseph Lewis was let go from his job at Bayou Steel on Monday. He was there 38 years, but the end came without any warning. How could a corporation treat you that way after such a long time? On Tuesday, he showed up bright and early to sign up for unemployment benefits and had serious questions that no one from Bayou Steel has answered. We don't even know if we're getting a paycheck Thursday. Uh, we don't know about our pension plan. Uh, we, we don't know about our vacations that we had left. Uh, we don't know nothing because they, ref they refuse to speak. But new court documents paint a picture of a company in dire financial straits. Bayou Steel filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on Tuesday. Court documents say they have more than $20 million in debt. It's a serious case. Uh, Brent Barrier is now representing several laid off workers. He says the company's debt was no excuse for how it let them go. It's been a series of extraordinary missteps so far. He says Bayou Steel could be in violation of federal law. The employees were entitled to uh, 60 days notice before they were terminated on Moss. That plainly did not occur. In fact, we understand they got no real notice. And now elected leaders who say they were also caught flat footed are speaking out. We were again caught off guard. Um, so were the workers who uh, indicated some of them who I, I spoke with that they thought they were in negotiations for uh, a buyer for the company. They were also anticipating raises um, from the company. So no, they were caught off guard. And just a short time ago, I spoke off camera with a representative from United Steel's Steelworkers. He says this is very puzzling to all of them. They just signed a new agreement, a new contract on Thursday, and then this happened Monday. The good news is he says they're hopeful those paychecks will come through tomorrow for these laid off workers. Coming up at six o'clock, we'll take a closer look, a closer look, excuse me, at why Bayou Steel said it had no other option but to shut down. Reporting live in Laplace, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.